Okay, so here we are at our 17 unit building and here is my partner Arman. So, how are you guys doing? <laughs> so, in this video, we're gonna give you guys a tour and share what we're gonna do with this building. Yeah, we're gonna give you a story. We're gonna give you all the nitty and gritty that you need to know. And you guys are gonna get a very close look at what you need to know about this building and what plans we have for it. Okay, so to start off with, first of all, this building has 17 units in total. 12 of them are one bedroom units and five of them are bachelor. So good thing is we got five units vacant. So we have five units vacant. Out of the five units that we have vacant, it was a challenge to get financing for those five units just because we didn't get rent for them. But we'll go into that a little deeper and maybe in the, the next video, in the, next the video. finances. But yeah. for this video, we'll, we'll focus on, you know, just show the building, the beauty. Mm -hmm. Very excited to show it to you guys. So follow us. Let's take a tour. Yeah. One cool thing I really like about this building, uh, except the two units, rest of the units have balconies. And they're quite large. The, the balconies on every unit on the exterior that you can see right here there's three in the middle three there and three there uh, they're nice large balconies so it's really good to have for you know for tenants because they can go out and enjoy the open air if they need to smoke they can go outside and smoke um, which kind of gives us a competitive edge for rental purposes compared to other buildings that are on the street okay location look at there tell them about the location why is location so important and why have we got the best location for this building yeah especially having the one one bedroom and bachelor units the biggest thing is to find the you know couples or single people so this location actually is just like literally 1.5 kilometers from university and uh, two kilometers from the bridge existing bridge and like probably three and a half kilometers from the new bridge that is currently under construction and also uh, close to downtown yeah like downtown is like one and a half kilometer or two kilometers exactly and riverside so for riverside you know it's a riverside is a water area in windsor for those of you that don't know um, and being close to the university picking piggyback off of what you said it's really good for us but we can diversify our tenants and we can not only find couples um, and small families to rent these units but we can also find professional students law students engineers uh, yep. so you know professional students love places like this because um, we're going to be upgrading them really heavy and they're very close to the proximity of the university. Yep. Okay, so let's go take, let's go walk it around. Before actually we get into the property, I'll show you one cool thing. Not many buildings in Windsor has is the parking spots. Come here. Look at that freaking parking area. We have like almost, you can park like 20 cars. Easily, easily. What do you think about the brick? Full brick building all the way through. Um, and another good thing that we have is we have a pitched roof. So a pitched roof, for those of you who don't know, it's angled this way, so the water just slopes right down. Uh, if you have a flat roof on top of the building, it can get really expensive uh, to repair and the water just stays stagnant. So having a pitched roof is a great, great thing for us compared to this roof. Like this roof is a flat roof right here, just show them the other building. And that is a pitched roof. And from top to bottom, brick. Yeah. All right, let's take you guys inside. So to start off with, if you come this way, Arman, we can show them the boxes for the mail. So right now, only one guy has, a, I think three guys have a lock box. Rest, oh, so no, sorry, my bad. This one will have to fix it, but rest everyone have got the keys. So they have their own mail. Now we're going on to the laundry room. So this space is a common element area for the entire building, uh, the heart of the building, because this is a shared space. So this is where the uh, laundry is kept. Uh, the laundry we have given to a company. They take care of all the laundry for us. They have their own systems in place um, and they just give us a kickback from the uh, laundry roll, uh, rent roll that we get at the end of the year. Now I'll let you talk about the storage. Yeah, so this is another thing. Pretty cool thing, which is we have like Every unit got one storage, but sad part is right now, it's all included in the rents. But good thing is we have five units vacant. So to start off, start off with them, we will make them even nicer and then charge rent on that storage. Yeah. We're gonna renovate this 
extensively. So all this is going to be just the, this is this whole tour is just the before, and we're going to give you an after tour in another video that then we are going to make yep. um, with all the renovations that we're going to put and all the money that we're putting into this building to make it really high end and really nice for all the tenants to enjoy. He's opening up the electrical room. So this is another thing that we will be working on right now. There is only one hydro meter, and. Uh, owner is paying for the hydro heating so heating and uh, electricity so that's that's a lot of cost uh, on the owner so now we will be splitting all the meters and let the tenants pay the rent and plus utilities now let's show you the first floor this is where all the units are so you guys can kind of see what the hallways look like and all the doors and this is before renovation just mentioning it again so basically again you have seen this dark colors right so we're gonna paint the floor all the hallways we're gonna change the flooring um, we're gonna you know maybe we'll have to see what to do with the ceiling but we're gonna put a, bring in some nice lights that can bright up the place really well mm -hmm. and am I missing anything else Arman? yeah laminate flooring um, I think we covered all the points this year but while we're trying to do this whole renovation to make it cosmetically appealing we're also trying to make sure that it looks more energy efficient for us because we're still paying for the common elements. Yep. So that's a very important point. So yeah. now we're going to give you, we'll show you a couple of units that, you know, what condition they're in right now. So this is our one bedroom unit, just so you guys can have an idea of the space and what the space kind of looks like. And uh, you guys will kind of have a, a broader view of that. And this is obviously the before. Arman, do you want to put your bed here? Do you want to live in this unit? Yeah, bro. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll sleep right there and it can match me right <laughs> <laughs> nah, I know. So it's, it's very stinky and I, I don't know how long this unit is vacant for before. A couple of years, I think, it looks like. It's in a pretty rough shape. Yeah, the, and again, the biggest thing is what we're going to do in this unit is like literally a gut job. Mm -hmm. We're going to just like patch all the things nicely all those you know fix those patches put nice led lights yep. um, change the flooring completely redo the kitchen because this kitchen is so old you can see it's dated um, you know so we're gonna have a brand new kitchen put in place the flooring is gonna be done we're gonna uplift everything uh, and we're gonna make it really nice so this will be like a hotel essentially after it's all done yeah but look at the current condition the it's sinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Do you think you can ever cook anything on our stove? <laughs> Maybe Mamta can do some magic here. <laughs> and look at that light. Yeah. That's like probably like 40 years old light, oh, I guess. <laughs> and the roof is in kind of, you can kind of see the lines going through down through the roof as well. So all this will be uh, fixed, renovated completely, a uh, total overhaul. Let's show them the bathroom just so they kind of know what they're going yeah. out. The size of this building is really nice. You can see the apartment size are huge, but so the, even though it's a one bedroom unit, it's 750, approximately 750 square feet yeah. unit, which is really good size. And that's another problem. This building has all baseboard heating and the owner is paying for the heating. So that's a huge cost. So that's a problem we're going to solve. Just by splitting the meters, uh, what that does is every single owner of each unit that's living in there, um, every tenant, sorry, what they do is they pay for their own hydro and they pay for their own expenses, right? So whatever they whatever they use, the higher the usage, they pay for that, which takes a huge cost off of our heads as owners of this building because we're paying for everyone's uh, hydro cost right now. And yep. that gets really expensive really fast knowing that you have 17 units, so. Okay. So come into the washroom. Okay, so we have like total five units vacant currently, right? So out of those five units, probably for three washrooms, we're gonna like totally, probably this is one of them, we're gonna just cut the whole washroom. It's gonna be like a nice modern tub here, maybe three piece tub, a nice vanity, nice mirror, light picture, water efficient toilet, that's another really important one because we are the one who is paying for water and probably a nice tile maybe 
again we are still debating whether to go with the tile or maybe laminate what do you think arman i don't know i guess we'll have to take it by uh by the minute and you know see the samples of course and put it here bring the samples from all the uh, vendors and kind of trying to you know reorganize the space with matching everything from the tub to the vanity and trying to really get it you know coming together as one by matching the other areas and let me show you the coolest part of this entire washroom we have a cheese grater in our fan watch this <laughs> That definitely needs to be fixed. <laughs> That's probably the first thing we fix. Another good thing that we have in this building, this building is very strong. It's made very well. Um, the walls are solid. The roofs are all concrete. So the building was made very, very strong when it was originally built. And we have panels in each and every single unit. We just don't have a subject meter. Yeah, which <laughs> we're gonna fix. So. so now we're going up to the second floor. We're gonna show you another unit. Great thing about this hallway, again, huge windows. If you see a lot of light to my face, that's because we have windows coming in in all the hallways, which is really good. Uh, hard to find in those because if there's no windows, the place looks narrow, it looks very really dull. So same thing again, every floor has the same challenge, which is like dark, big old lights, old flooring. So all these things will be fixed. Exactly. And we're going to be changing all the light panels to LED slim panels. It'll be nice. So this is a second unit. Now we're going to take you to a bachelor unit. So this is what a bachelor unit looks like. So actually the next unit is my favorite unit. This is still okay. The beautiful, beautiful unit is the next one. Oh, you guys have to see that unit. That unit is something that I guarantee that a lot of you have never seen something like this before. Okay, so back to this unit. Again, same thing. Uh, we're gonna change the whole kitchen. It's gonna be like brand new cabinets. A brand new, like Arman saying, a hotel look. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? A luxury hotel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you own something, you will have to have pride of ownership and you wanna provide value. So another really good thing that, you know, me and there we're on the same goal, we have the same task in mind of making this the best we possibly can for our tenants. Because we're not only just regular landlords that are just gonna charge the rent for our tenants, we're gonna make sure that we provide actual good accommodation, a safe place for them to stay, and something that they can really appreciate because they will actually like staying here. And if they like staying here, that makes a lot of things easier for us as yeah. landlords because we don't have to, uh, you know, worry about turnover rate about people leaving, people coming. People like staying where they are, they will stay with you for a long time. Yep, so they should fall in love with it. Yep. So when you're, when you're in love, it's hard to break it. Exactly. So bachelor unit, even though it's a bachelor unit, still it's a decent sized unit. Actually, it's a six, approximately 600 square feet. Mm -hmm. So if you just quickly look around, so this one you can use as a living area, and this area where you, know, you can put their bed, a you know, single bed, and TV this, side so it's, it's still like a pretty spacious a single person or a couple can comfortably live here another coolest thing like i mentioned earlier in the video every unit comes with this beautiful balcony of course it's not beautiful now but we're gonna paint this thing we're gonna make this whole thing look nicer so of course it's a long project it's gonna pump we gotta spend a lot of money at this point, we are still getting some quotes, so we don't know how, mu we how much we're gonna spend, but we're gonna make it beautiful. Let's show you the washroom for this unit. So as you can see, we need to definitely fix this because that is a big issue. This unit's been vacant for a while. The old owner that we bought it from, he didn't really do the work that he, you know, um, that we were gonna do right now, and we're gonna make this completely brand new, rip everything apart, and change it and completely gut the washroom. So while cutting the washroom. Um, we're gonna put new vanity, new mirror, LED mirror right here with lights in it. You know, kind of get the hotel vibe that we, you know, that we're gonna give to every single person when they move in. Do we have a cheese grater here? No, it works. <laughs> it's not too bad. Yeah, so this one's not bad. Wait till you see what's next. Now let's go to our favorite unit of all. So now we're making our way to the third floor. And this unit is personally the reason why Aditya fell in love with this building. 
He said, man, I love this unit. I, don't have to I can literally move into it right now. Yeah, this is the most ready unit we have. It's moving ready. You know, you will see what I'm talking about. Man, come in, come in. Hold on, hold on your expectations. Here, here, come here. Check out that. Oh man, I still have no idea how a person lived here for how many years? Like 15, 20 years. 15, 20 years. Okay. So, I know this condition is not livable at all. But surprisingly, there was a lady used to live in this uh, unit until before we closed it since. Again, I don't know how far that story is true, but this is what I was told. So the lady had some kind of a, you know, mental issue or health issue, some kind of thing. She lived here just like this. And uh, the pro, you know, the mold and everything is just growing and growing. And there was a water leak started to the, happen from the washroom to the lower washroom where you saw Armand was explaining the issue. So they complained that there was water leak. So they scheduled a contractor to come and fix this one. That's when they gave a notice to the lady. Hey, we have a contractor coming in tomorrow. Literally on the <laughs> same day she left. Yeah, yeah. So she was staying in this unit for all this time and the entire time while she was staying here, nobody knew that she lived like this. So, cause she was a proper, you know, well put together lady that used to go outside. She was going out every day. She had a couple cats we heard, um, but then we found out that once there was a leakage on the bottom floor in the bathroom, because this bathroom, she was a hoarder. So what she did was she hoarded everything in her apartment and she kept everything where the stuff was packed to the ceiling. So they actually ordered large bins, like three or four bins they were saying. And they had to take three or four large bins to just take the stuff out of the apartment when she left. And she just got up and left because she was so embarrassed that um, you know they found out that she lived like this. And it was just crazy. So apparently the story is that she used to live in this corner right here and everything around here was just packed to the ceiling and there was just stuff all over the place. So when she was staying here, she would poop and pee on that corner and the washroom was actually not even usable because let's show you the washroom right now and the washroom was filled with more stuff. So she would actually urinate outside. Shit. Absolutely disgusting. So, at the end. Okay, we need some fresh air. So let's go outside because I can't stay oh, in this unit much longer. I cannot even breathe. Okay, you do the honors. I'm not grabbing this. <laughs> if COVID doesn't kill me, this unit definitely will. <laughs> Definitely a breath of fresh air. Oh my god, <laughs> that feels so good. <laughs> oh, man. But the th here's the thing Does it scare me? Yes. Inside, I'm scared. How about you? I'm scared to go inside the unit every time, I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, I'm very excited because, you know, if you're a real estate investor like me and Aditya, you would know that this is the opportunity that you're looking for as an investor. My favorite quote by Matt McEwer Problems are profits. Yeah, so problems for profits. Yes, this building has a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. A lot of things need to be fixed. But we can see inside the beauty. Like, you know, there is beauty hidden. Exactly. We, now it's our job. We really strongly believe yeah. that now probably this was waiting for us. Yeah, 100%. This is the window of opportunity that we were looking for. Uh, you know, we found the ideal place by the ideal location near where, you know, in the city that we were wanted to invest in. Um, and then the unit was, you know, the owner was motivated to sell. We found a great deal. We saw everything that needed to be done in the building. We thought we could actually make it happen. And, you know, we just took the risk. And that's what a majority of you need to do. Whatever investment that you guys want to buy, you know, just jump in and just try to learn new things. No matter how big the task or how small the task, if you don't do it, you're not going to make the money on the other side. So, yep. Know. So here we are. We took the risk. So you'll find out you'll find out what's going to happen, right? Exactly. So stay tuned for the next updates. Of course, we're going to talk a lot of things like, you know, how we finance the deal, yeah. how we got together, you know, maybe yeah. how we, why we partnered, you know, yeah. both two realtors. So he's a realtor from Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> so 
all those details stay tuned and also let us know in the comments mm -hmm. how do you like the building so far yeah <laughs> what do you think about the units there's a lot more videos coming between me and Aditya so make sure you guys follow subscribe to his channel thumbs up take it away yeah. see, see you, you guys in the next soon. video